This video is going to show you how you can use different apps while in a Google Meet on your iPad. So a couple things to note are that when you're on your iPad, you can have your camera on and your microphone on, and you'll see that whenever you tap on the screen and see those buttons there. If it's red, it means it's turned off, and if it's white, it means it's turned on. And I'm leaving mine off for right now because we are going to hop between a couple different apps here. So if I want to open up something, if um, such as Safari so that I could do like a Kahoot activity with my teacher What you can do is pull up from the bottom of your screen You'll see a dock with a number of, of different apps pop up and You'll want to put any apps down here that you know that you're going to use frequently Because you can use them in split view. So let's say I want to use a window in Safari I'm going to hold down on that app bring it all the way over to the edge of my screen and then if I wanted to, I would be able to view the Kahoot activity over on the left on my teacher screen and then also participate in the Kahoot over here on the right. Uh, another way that you could interact with your teacher is that if they're using the whiteboard.fi website, which lets you get a little whiteboard that you can fill out and um, you know, answer problems and have kind of your own little individual whiteboard. And one other app that some teachers like to use is called Jamboard. And we're gonna put that over here. And then you can also interact with Jamboard over here. So, for example, if I had an activity like this, and I'm doing a fist to five activity, I could move a little post-it note around with my name and put it where it belongs. So that's just a quick preview on how you can use your iPad and other applications while you're in a Google Meet.